talk to you about us. Don't worry, I'm not talking about you and me, but I'm talking about the Dutch band Us. You've never heard of them? How is that possible? I mean, they are around for a long time. In fact, they started out in 1975, so basically they're around for 35 years. Originally they started out, uh, when, when they started they called themselves Saga, but of course you can imagine there's another band with that name, so they had to change the name and they called themselves Us. And ever since they changed the name to Us, they released eight studio albums. Now, um, I discovered this band uh, back in 2003. There was a, a poll going on and then you could vote for albums. And the album Eman's Day from Us came out as number one in that poll. So of course I got interested and I listened to it and I was really blown away. It was a really beautiful album. Um, so I got in touch with the guys and have been in touch with them ever since uh, for, for, well, for about seven years. Uh, reviewed a lot of their albums and, and grown a fondness for their music. The main driving force behind us is Jos Werners, and when they started out, uh, us was really a band. But unfortunately, as time went by, uh, several members left, and in the end, Jos Werners was left alone. But he didn't quit, he decided to keep on going. He had a lot of ideas, and well, he wanted to express himself through his music, so he kept on going. And well, despite the fact that he doesn't have always the uh, resources that you could need for an album. Uh, I still find that he makes very good albums. Uh, they're very enjoyable to listen to. And if we look at his latest one, which is this one, Feeding the Crocodile, album number eight. When I heard the album, um, it gave me a very nostalgic feel. It has a very, uh, it, it's a feeling that you're listening to an album from the 70s. The title track, Feeding the Crocodile, is well, seven seconds short of 43 minutes, so it's a, a true epic um, and, and a really beautiful one. It, it never gets boring whenever you listen to it. Uh, Us always had uh, a bit of a Genesis sound in them, uh, especially the keys. Um, well, in the past they were very uh, charmed by, by Tony Banks and they, they were inspired by him, so you can hear that in the music, but never in an annoying way. It's, it's always in a nice way. Um, I, I find it a very pleasant album to listen to, uh, despite it may not have the crystal clear high-end production, uh, it has its charm, and as I said, it, it really gives me a nostalgic feeling. Now, the best way I can do is to let you listen to it yourself, and, and see how you feel when you hear this music. I'll play you two pieces of uh, the large main track, the, the first track, Feeding the Crocodile, and then you get an impression of what kind of music this is. So, enjoy feeding the crocodile! Still we've come. 
well, I hope you now understand what I mean when I say it gives you a nostalgic feeling. But I, nevertheless, I hoped you liked this, what you heard. Well, with such a, a long title track, um, well, there's only little room left for other songs. And there are two other songs on the album. Uh, the second song is a bit different. As I said, Jos Wernars is the, the main man, the driving force. He does it all by himself. I wasn't completely accurate when I said that. He has some help, and that's especially in the vocal department, um, by Marijke Wernars. And, um, well, she does the vocals on the second track of the album, which is called The Greatest Show on Earth. Uh, this reminds me a bit of some Dutch bands back from the 70s, 60s and 70s. Um, well, I don't know what you think of it, what, what kind of memories you get with this music, but just listen to a, a part of this song. should touch you and maybe the production isn't 100% crystal clear as long as it touches you then it's good and uh, with, the, with the albums of Us I can say they touch me I, I feel the, the, the story behind it the emotion behind it and that's what I like about this music and uh, well, it kind of brings me back in time of course to a time that well I didn't consciously experience the 70s uh, but that's the kind of music I like um, well, I think you got the impression that Us is no neo-proc or anything. It's more classic progressive rock, symphonic rock from, from the 70s, uh, but still in a very, mo very modern uh, outfit. And, and that's uh, what I like about it. And Well, basically there's not much more to tell. I mean, it's, it's one man making music and, and you should listen to the album, you should read the lyrics and, and try to understand his story because that's what he's telling with this album, he's telling a story. So I'm going to leave you with a sh after a short review um, with the final song of the album which is called The Winds of March and check out this album Feeding the Crocodile by Us. Um, if you come across it, Eamon's Day by Us is a very highly recommended album and other albums if you can come across them, check them out, they are definitely worth listening to. I hope you enjoy it, I hope you enjoy this album, and goodbye for now.